Hey, Hall, Doug just messaged from yeah. up north. Weren't you wanting to get uh, Mama Shark running again? Yeah, I'd love to get that back on the track. Well, he said if I can get that uh, duct tape and Mama Shark up to him, he'd rebuild them, and then if we can get back for the benefit, he's got a couple cars we can use for that. Let's do it. Let me uh, message Jesse real quick. I know he was looking for a load anyway. Maybe I can just put him in the freight line and go get that stuff. You still trying to sell that 5.0? Because Sniper just said he'd do that uh, Mama Shark for that 5.0. Man, it does need work. Tell me he's got a deal. I mean, it's up. All right. Cool. Jesse said he's free too. You, you just want me to have him come on up? Yeah, but earlier the better. All right, hey guys, if you want to run in and start uh, putting these parts on that Roadrunner and that Aspen, Hall, we'll uh, go in there and we'll get this stuff figured out on these cars. Okay, guys, well, uh, Chris and Bert went home for the day. Got a lot of work done, or got a lot of work done before they left. Let me show you what's going on so far. Uh, Bert fabricated the wheelie bars up to that rear end. He got that parachute mounted. Uh, Chris got the motor the old Pat Moosey out of the uh, duct tape in there set still got to put the headers and then taking stuff on it and then while they were doing that I worked on the Roadrunner and got the tires on it and then uh, Chris helped me get the motor running in it so it's pretty much ready to go it's pretty much it's done so all i gotta do is i actually probably drive this car home tonight we started it up we didn't get it on film because while we were doing all that hall was busy outside come out with me and he he got the uh he got the freight liner all loaded up and ready jesse's on his way to pick it up he's gonna he likes to run at night that way there's no traffic he should be here anytime but it's all loaded up and strapped down and ready to go so you guys haven't seen much of Mama Shark yet, but Mama Shark's the Corvette here. It's a big tire. It's a blower car. Uh, it's a fast car. It just I blew it up in an NKP event and uh, no prep king event, and it hasn't ran for a while. So we're gonna get it back going. Let Hall do a little racing with it, and then we put a shine on this Peterbilt here. That paint buffed up real nice on it, so. It's ready to go. We'll have to get it hauled to the airport for this event, the event, you know, stage. So, like I said, we're just waiting on Jesse to pull up. He's going to take off, and we're probably going to call it a night. Hey, Jesse, bud, you're all good to go, man. Hell yeah.
Hey, Nate, where you at? Uh, I'm in the office. Uh, no, hey, you know if Sarah got all the legal stuff taken care of on, on Bert and uh, Chris and uh, the janitor guy? Bobby. Bobby. Uh, Bobby's hasn't come back yet, but for the other two, they're good to go. Um, she told all me right. that um, if she gets Bobby's back, it'll probably be good. I was thinking uh, I moved some stuff around today. I, I moved the, well, obviously you saw I drove the Roadrunner last night, which, dude, that yeah. thing runs really good. Uh, I just put the old Terminate over here and parked it in the garage for now. I moved the Aspen to the lift. And, uh, man, we got a lot to do. But Bob, or uh, not Bobby, Chris and Bert, coming to work they should be here around nine and they're gonna to try to finish up that Aspen today uh, what do you think about us going and hauling some stuff from that uh, your old the sandy scrapyard to the event and or the event place and get some cleaning and stuff done yeah I need to get a few things out it'll be nice, it'll be nice and to uh, also Yeah, we need that forklift for sure. Do we still we still got that sweeper for it too, right? Yeah, I believe so. And also, I was strolling through uh, marketplace last night, Hall, and I found a duster for sale. I think, I mean, it's it's taken apart, but it's all there. I think it'd be a good street car. We could throw it together real quick. I mean, we got about a week left before we gotta get this to this event. I used to love what do you think? Duster. Well, let's, uh, let's run up. It's up. I'm trying to get the address on it right now. I'm talking to the guy, but let's head towards Sandy. See if we can't get some stuff moved real quick. All right, I'm going to check out the siren that's going on outside. Is this the place? That's what the GPS says. And Look at that. It looks like he's got some good-looking tomato plants. I couldn't get mine to grow at all this year. Look at that Bronco. Should I stop here? Are you Fred? Yeah, I'm Fred. How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? Doing pretty good. You uh, called about the duster earlier? Yes, I did. Uh, name's Big Nate, and uh, my buddy here's his name's D Hall. Duster's over there in the uh, uh, barn. If you want to go take a look at her. Yeah, I mean, I. I'd love to. Look at that hall, it's your favorite color. Is this thing a duster or a demon? It's a demon. Yeah. We threw a duster hood on it. Just so it has something to cover up the motor in the rain. Oof da. I don't know if that motor's gonna run. You got any parts for it? Well, there's parts laying around for it. Uh, valve cover should be in the car itself and the intake should be over here. Yeah, I see the valve cover. There's the intake. Yeah, 
you know anything about the rear end and stuff? Is it trashed or? Let me look. It's got the. It's got the eight. Is that a Dana 60? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it wouldn't take much to paint the door. Do you have another fender for it or no? If you got another fender, I can get you. Two doors, two fenders, and it'd all be purple. It shouldn't be a problem. I can probably find one. Now your ad said just best off or I mean what kind of price are you looking for out of this car? What are you boys thinking? What do you think, Hall? You wanna talk about it for a minute? Um, what were you originally offering? I just said best offer. I said I'd come take a look. How I mean, I'd like to be in this car for about three grand. And I ain't trying to low boy. I'm just. It's going to need a lot. I'll take the three grand. Better not sit here All and right, go man, to waste. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We run a shop, private bar salvage. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but uh, it definitely won't set long. You won't throw that spool of wire in with it? Get you out of my way. Go ahead. So oh, here's the thing, I, I usually do like a will it run and drive home. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to put this car all the way together sitting here. So if you give me by the end of the day, I'll get it hauled out of here. And uh, whatever you want, just pull out of that pile the rest of it. I, we got a scrapyard I can take it to. Alright, that sounds good. Uh, let me go get you some money out of the truck real quick. Be a pretty nice car. For you. What do you think of it, Hall? I think once we get it fixed up, it'll be real nice. Yeah. Uh, you just want to run to Jess's house, we'll, we'll get watermelon, so we can get that bulldozer over there to the airfield. Yeah, I'll head over there. I'm going to call uh, Chris real quick, see where that Aspen's at. Hello, Chris? Chris. Hello, can yeah, you hear hey. me? Yeah, it's Nate. How's that Aspen going or coming along? Uh, it's almost done. Uh, we're putting on the headers now, then. All we're... right, all right. All right. All right, man, I'll just check whether you guys need anything there. Nope. Or you we're good, good to go for now. More. All right. All right, man. If you guys need anything, just call me. All right, sounds good. Later. You think we're going to be able to get this duster done in time, Hall? I think if we went 100% uh, on it right now, yeah. But if we take time and neglect it, no. 
I mean, all we got to do is paint that or the doors and the fenders. And I got to find a transmission did for it. Did you see that? Did you see that engine in there though? The motor mounts were completely missing. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, but I could, uh, Bert should be able to fabricate, ugh, fabricate some uh, motor mounts for that. Hey, can you stop at this gas station? I, I haven't ate yet. Morning. No. I'm sorry, man. You know, you know, I don't get this figure from not eating. Yeah, I'll go inside also. Might as well put diesel in this thing. Yeah, give me uh, 60 on that white truck out there. Can you go ahead and throw a... Uh, Outfit on? A pussycat up there at the top, the orange one. Go ahead and put it on his tab also. Yeah, it's a business card. Did you fill her up? She's full. Is Jesse even home? No, he's... Remember, he went up north to get those... Or deliver those cars. He's in... Oh, yeah, he took the Freightliner, yeah. Yep. Uh, let me just... But uh, I got the keys for the for old watermelon. I'll drive it. Take a look at this bike. Let me go say hi to Katie and the baby real quick. So we're gonna meet at the recycling center. Yeah. Uh, let me warm this truck up for a minute, get the air built up on it. Alright. Oh, you got your CB on. Yes, I do. Ready? You gonna follow me or am I following you, bud? You follow me.
Bring it on back. Just pull it over there. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. That I gotta unhook this uh, hitch so that trailer drops down so we can load that dozer. Looks like God, uh, you're recycling guy uh, diesels here. Somewhere. Yeah, I heard the box trick. It sounded like. Do we get it all loaded up? Yeah, we should be good to go. All right, I'll follow you over there this time. You got all your planes here. Yeah, we picked up a few of them. Uh, my favorite one's that helicopter over there. When did you get that one? Yesterday. Can't imagine. I ain't gonna ask you what the price tag is on something like that. Uh, you want to get this some of the stuff unloaded? Yeah, I'm going to put these two in this hangar. The Caterpillar could just stay outside, so let's just park it behind that shed over there. It works. Uh, I'll start on that if you want to get these unloaded. And then I'll probably just take that gooseneck and go pick up the duster. Yeah, while you're If you're good that, with it. While you're doing that, I'll just clean up around here. All right, I think uh, your boy Diesel from the scrap yard was talking about coming over and helping you, so. I'll go get this dozer unloaded, though.
All right, I got her all unloaded. Yeah, I just put that dozer over there. I wasn't sure where you wanted it, but that's fine. Just for sure, this. but that'll work for you. Yeah, it's really starting to come together. Yeah, it's starting to look good. I think you'll do good here. I'll just leave uh, leave watermelon setting here. I'm gonna move it off. And the wrong way. I'll, I'm gonna go get this pit chip. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna pull it over there. Alright. That way I can get I'll just have Jesse or I can Yeah. I'll just have Jesse or somebody come get it later. Okay. Uh I'm gonna go get see if I can get this duster loaded up. I'll probably just drop all that scrap off at the scrapyard. And then I'll swing back by and I can pick you up. Okay. Alright man, I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. It shouldn't take me long. thing looks even better when it's not in a barn. Yeah, I know. Uh, it looks pretty good underneath, too. Now that it's clean under there. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna have to find a rear bumper for it. Shouldn't be too hard. It doesn't look too bad without the rear bumper. Looks like you got a little bit cleaned up here. Yeah. Uh, Jesse came and got a watermelon, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, did he come back with a Freightliner? Yeah. Cool, cool. Did so, you see what he was hauling? I couldn't tell. He was in and out real quick. He had three cars, though. Alright. Cool. Sweet. I told him just to take him to that other shop and drop it off there. We'll bring him over here once we get everything cleaned up. So you want to head down there? Are you want to get this thing back to the city? Yep. And he's going to be mad when he realizes we just brought him another project with a time crunch. Let's go see where he's at on this. Aspen. Uh, Jesse's bringing watermelon. He's going to pick up that Peterbilt and haul it down to the airstrip. All right. What's up, Chris? What's up? Where you at on this Aspen, man? I'm just wrapping it up. All I gotta do is put the front clip back on. Well, that's uh, great news. But do you want the bad news? Uh, sure. Lay it on me, I guess. Well, we needed a haul needed a streetcar. I found one on Craigslist. It's somewhat there, but we're going to need to finish it in about six days. 
Define Actually somewhat five. there. Uh, do you know I guess how to the put best in, way. Do you know how to put in motor mounts? Just... You got it out there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just go there. look at it. Motor mounts. Is Bert on lunch? Yeah, he just left. This is it, man. This is, I keep calling it a duster, but it's actually a demon, believe it or not. God's demon. Hey, Nate, go ahead and jump in. Pop his hood. Chris, come over and take a look at this. See how it's off the mounts right here? At least it's got an engine. It's not a bad one either. But it doesn't have a transmission. Oh, cool. Uh, I got a fender for it, though. And I think I can source a bumper. Okay, it's somewhat there, I guess. You're right about that. I mean, it's got a Dana 60 in it. So it should be able to handle what little bit of power we put in it. How many days do I got? Six. Oh, awesome. And I'll help you out. I'll send the fenders and the doors off to paint match. I mean, they're brand new, so it shouldn't be that hard, you know, to paint them. I mean, inside that shop, you have every tool imaginable. So, really, the, the biggest project on here would be time. Oh, yeah. You think you and Bert can get her done? I'd say probably about five days. As long as you don't bring... Well, let's get her in the shop. Hey, Nate. Did you notice that this head or tail yeah. light was blown out? Oh. Man. I'm gonna well, the good news is, even though it's a demon, duster parts will fit on it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on uh, online. See if I can't find that. Alright, we'll get this thing unloaded. You think we can push it, Chris, or we need to get the forklift? Uh, we could probably push it. Yeah, Chris, I'm sorry to put that crunch on you guys, but I think we can get her done, man. And I'll help you out with it. As long as I don't have any other projects coming nah, in here. Nah, man. We're done until this benefit. You ever notice Hall always gets out of all the hard work, like pushing the car? I've never seen him do anything. Go ahead and get these doors off. You want to grab that, uh... Impact? Yeah, I'll grab it. So I found a tail light for this. You want the bad news about it, though? How much? $167. That's the bad news, how much? Probably not even OEM. It's probably uh, no, you know, it's, it's whatever. O, it's OEM. Oh, why? You know the deal. Let's go ahead and put it on the business tab. Let's get it expedited here. I already did. So we got uh, the doors, the hood. And I think believe they got the motor out of the duster. We've all just kind of been thrashing around in the shop. I uh, got a, a little tune in this motor. I'm gonna see if this uh, Aspen will fire up real quick. 
Which, if we have any problems here, I don't know if we're going to make this show. Everybody ready? We're going live. Live? Seems to be running good. You guys want to throw this front clip on it real quick, and uh, I'll make a test hit with it out here. Thanks everybody for watching this episode of Pry Bar Salvage. We did a lot this episode, and uh, the next episode your watch will be the the cancer benefit. So we're all excited for that. Want to introduce the new Pry Bar Salvage team? We got Robert. Hey. Um. And we got Chris. Hello. And uh, Bobby unfortunately couldn't be with us. He uh, he had a show, a muscle. One of the, what do you call them? Muscle shows? I don't know. Bodybuilding show to go to or something. But we got a lot coming up, a lot going on still. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you're subscribed, hit that like button. Uh, follow us on TikTok. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. All right. I call first on the game. Nah, I'll take pizza. Y'all gotta change your clothes. You don't give us time to, we gotta work on these <laughs> boxes. <laughs> now, well, well, we right, were working well, on, we were working on these do... boxes way before you were working on these <laughs> boxes. And look at us. <laughs> We turned our box working on it into a fucking dynasty here.